So here's a question for you. How do you have in-person meetings and still use your AI, your AI meeting recorder to capture notes and give you a summary of those meetings? So in this video, we're gonna answer exactly just that question because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Um, it's actually pretty straightforward. In fact, it's the exact same process, but I'll just kind of give you some general information about how to go about doing this first, and then we'll actually show you the, the implementation itself. So why don't I pull up my whiteboard, which I love to do, and just to kind of level set, make sure everybody's on the same page. So just to understand what these AI bots are actually doing, um, they're really just doing a few very simple things. Like it's, they're literally just uh, looking at your calendar. So let's say this is your calendar right um they're looking at your calendar we're going to put an eye here for an, for an ai right and what they're doing is they're basically trying to find meeting links right so when they find a meeting link that's all they're doing they're scanning your scanning your uh calendar looking for a meeting link and the minute that they find a meeting link then they log it in their system right that they need to join that meeting at that particular time that's all that's all the AI is doing okay so in the same way that is doing that whenever you show up for your meeting with your team members or whoever it is that you're meeting with right um, it has obviously the same date and time so all it does is just jumps into that meeting okay so now that you understand that concept which you know it's pretty straightforward the exact same thing can be done in in-person meeting so in this particular case, if you're in an in-person meeting, generally speaking, um, you may or may not put it on your calendar, right? Uh, I would recommend all meetings go on your calendar. So whether it's an in-person meeting or not in-person meeting, put it on your calendar and create a Zoom link or a Teams link or Google Meets link or whatever tool they use for your meeting create a link for it and put it in there. So when you show up for your in-person meeting in whatever building, this is my building, right? Just join the in-person meeting. So you're in a boardroom, you're talking to a bunch of people on the other side, right? Join that meeting and that's it. Then uh, the AI gods sitting over here will see, oh, she has a meeting. They don't know whether it's an in-person meeting or not. So they're just gonna join the meeting. Now this has to be running on your laptop or whatever it is the entire time while you're in that in-person meeting and the hope is that your laptop has good enough some thing that it can pick up the conversations from the other members if not at bare minimum it's picking up your voice and what you would have to do is sort of repeat some of the statements to make sure that the ai is actually captured it properly right but that's how you would do it so let's just jump over to the computer now and just talk about the actual practicality of it because you're doing the exact same thing now actually one other point i wanted to make here which was if you don't have an in-person sorry if you for whatever reason you just didn't put it in your calendar or it's just an impromptu meeting you know you're walking by the water cooler or something and somebody says hey yeah let's have a meeting right now right so whenever you get into that meeting bring your laptop bring your phone whichever jump into the meeting with teams and then you can invite your read AI or your super normal or whichever to join that meeting also. So I'm gonna show you how exactly to do that. So my my read AI, the minute I join on with re, um sorry, with Teams, it automatically jump jump I'm sorry, it jumps into the meeting right away. However, I'll show you what to do if that does not happen. But let me show you what I mean. So if I open up Teams or um I'm just gonna use zoom because that's my primary meeting tool but this will work for any single thing okay so right now i gotta go oh, in 60 days so if i cl click here and i click on join meeting right what it's going to do is let me take out the camera so i don't have this weird thing right so here see here it says unable to start cloud recording okay that's fine i don't know why but that's, that has nothing to do with anything so and yes it still says recording Right, so if you notice, instantly, because I have the Read AI app installed, it just automatically joins the meeting. That's it. And now you can just keep recording, like whatever I'm saying right now is being recorded, transcribed, recorded, etc. And then they'll come up with a summary 
of some sort. It won't be perfect, but at least it's something. Right, so that's how you would just go about doing it. This is assuming that you have the app installed, and let me just explain because I have another video that shows you about this app. But just just in case you haven't seen that video, um, sometimes when you join into to Zoom meeting, it just doesn't log in. Like the Teams, this guy is not there. Right, so what you have to do is you have to go to Apps here, and then you need to search for this very what I would consider a stupid name. It's called uh, Meeting Recaps Transcript Recording Read, right? So add apps, right? You can do a search. Then you say Meeting. Meeting Recap. And oh, Meetings. Let's try that. Come on. Really? Oh, sorry. Come on. There, right? So this is Read AI. Click on Get, right? And then click on Open. And then once you do that, um, it will ask you if you, if it's not already joined the meeting, it will ask you for the meeting link. You'll, you'll see an option that says Add Link. And then you just do exactly what you would normally do. You click on um, Participants. You click on Copy Invite Link and you just basically paste it inside of that place where it prompts you. It's not prompting me because obviously I'm already in a meeting and it recognizes that I'm in a meeting. So it's not prompting me for that meeting link, but that's what you would do to get it to join. And then from there, you just record the session by itself and that will work. All right, let me show you the same thing for super normal because um, it also has the same thing. So, so I actually just logged into my super normal account here. And when I log into Supernormal account, if I wanted to invite this guy, because I, I, I joined the meeting, Supernormal has no idea about it because, well, it's not on my calendar, right? It's an impromptu meeting. So here, they have it on this side here. It says here, upcoming meetings. Now, the truth is, I actually don't know if they have a Supernormal app. Let's find out. And hopefully, they don't have a weird name for it. But let's see. Let's find out. S-U... Uh, how do you spell it? S-U-P-E-R... N O R M L. Sorry, don't know how to spell. There we go. So yeah, there's nothing here, right? So they have they don't have an app, or at least that I know of and that I can find, because this search thing doesn't seem to be pretty good. However, I can copy that link, which I just did just now. Invitation, copy invite link, right? I can come across, log into my super normal, click on add invite AI to meet him, click that and click invite. And see, your butt is on its way, right? And then here, there we go, bam. So my super normal is now recording audio as we speak in this particular meeting. And here I have the exact same thing. So if I had a Teams meeting running, I could do the exact same thing. It's allow recording, yes. So if I had a Teams meeting and I click on new meeting, right? Exact same process would be applied. No, I want to start a meeting in Teams. Let's just do that. So once I finish with that, obviously I just do end, end all, and then I'll start sending the data to the cloud so I could record, um, so it could be transcribed, etc. But if I were into Teams, I could do the exact same thing. I could say meet now, get share link, right? Start meeting. Oh, I didn't copy the share link. Okay, let me um, let me stop the video here. Join. Copy meeting link, right? And then I can say, then I could do, so I'm in this meeting now, and I could say my uh, super normal. I can come in here, click invite, invite. And at some point, should log in. Let's find out. I don't know if it actually, I don't know if we've tested this with Teams before. In the meantime, because I'm in this meeting here, I could do this for the same for Read AI. I could come up here, click on apps, do a search for meeting summaries. I don't know why they keep naming things like so weird, but it's called meeting summaries. It's right here, but I'm just trying to tell you how to find it. Right? See here, super normal. There we go. Admit. Took a while for it to come in. So now I'm in a meeting with Supernormal 
And if I do same thing for read AI, click on that. Come on. And save and here. And now I got to paste that save link in there. Click on add. And now I have two. Well, it's coming, but you get the idea. All right, I have two meetings that are, are now joined uh, to read AI, sorry, that are joined in the meeting. So hopefully that helps you. Um, if you've gotten value from this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to up my subscription count. See here, just click on add. And um, there, now I have my two people that are in the meeting and finished. Actually, let me show you one more thing. So I did this just recently, just to show you how it works um, with read AI, because I had a meeting just, just, just a couple uh, days ago. And what it'll do, it'll just basically kind of summarize my portion, Dwayne Brown, Dwayne Brown, Dwayne Brown. And it sort of just give discussion about the different types of stuff in the meeting, but it doesn't actually do any single thing other than just give some general information about, about things because it doesn't know who the other participants are, but that's okay. Now that you have this notes, you could then go and clean it up, add additional details, etc. to it. Um, you could download a video, you could do some more stuff. So in, in a future video, I'm going to show you, I think I have an idea on how to do this even better, but I'm going to show you a combination of like read AI and, um, uh, and Descript, because I think this is going to work with Descript in a, in a very interesting way. So, um, stay tuned for more videos. I've been on vacation, so, uh, haven't been posting as much videos lately, but I'm back in the swing of things again. So you're going to see more frequent videos from me. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I got 366 subscriptions. So, you know, any, any subscription helps. So thank you for your time. Have a great day. Bye.